In most schools and undergraduate economics classes, only one type of economics is taught, neoclassical economics. Superficially, this seems to make sense. Neoclassical economics has dominated academic research and top journals in the field for decades. However, it rests on shaky and unrealistic theoretical foundations and is very limiting in what can be studied and how. It focuses on deriving economic behaviour based on a rational individual with no historical or social context, and it focuses on markets almost exclusively, ignoring non-market institutions including capitalist firms, treating them as if they were markets or just saying that they can be explained by a lack of complete markets. Many alternative schools of economic thought exist. Marxist, post-Keynesian, feminist, complexity and ecological economics, to name just a few. These have their own strong theoretical foundations, unique insights and empirical work to back them up. However, due to their marginalization within the field, very few learning materials have been developed for them below a postgraduate level. Although there are some, such as Rethinking Economics's Introduction to Pluralist Economics. Blob Metropolis is aimed at providing a simple explanation of many of the core concepts of these heterodox schools of economic thought, taking on the same role as a textbook so that students can first get a grasp of the main themes of a school of thought before diving into academic journal articles. But it is also a tool for social justice activists who want to broaden their economic understanding in order to be more effective, and for students of mainstream economics who hesitate about fully embracing heterodox schools of thought but are interested in hearing one or two of the main critiques of neoclassical economics. Subscribe to the Blob Metropolis YouTube channel if that sounds like something you're interested in.